This session is on coastal management. What can we do to stop our cliffs and buildings falling into the sea? So here is a scene. Lucy has decided to um, build a house next to the sea because she likes the beautiful views and also she likes sketching the sea. Um, but most likely her house will fall into the sea. And the reason is, is because the waves from the ocean are crashing in at exactly this height. What that is doing is eroding away the rock of the coastline through hydraulic action and abrasion. What that does is it leaves this notch within the cliff face like so and eventually the rock will collapse. It will slide downhill because it's unsupported through mass movement and all of this rock above Lucy's, Lucy's house will fall in as well leading to her house collapsing. Now, we're going to see what can be done about it so that Lucy's house is protected. Well, the waves from the sea are crashing in at this height. So the first thing that we can do is build a barrier to protect the rock of the cliff. So number one, barriers. Now, the first barrier that people can build is a sea wall. So let us put in a concrete sea wall, like so. And then the waves from the sea will be crashing into the concrete sea wall instead of the important rock of the cliff. Yes, the sea wall might erode over time, but we're protecting this important rock here that stops cliff collapse, stops undercutting and therefore mass movement. So number one is barriers, there is a sea wall. Another kind of barrier you often see at the seaside is piles of rocks built up at the base of the cliff. Now these are called rock armour or riprap and the whole idea behind them is that the important rock of the cl um, cliff is protected because the waves from the sea will be crashing into our boulders instead of crashing into um, the rock of the cliff. Another way to protect this rock of the cliff is just by having a large amount of sand on the beach. So here I'm drawing on layers and layers and layers of sand and then the reason that that sand is there on the beach is because then the waves from the sea are crashing into the sand instead of the rock of the cliff. So the sand is absorbing the energy from the waves and therefore this rock from the cliff is protected. Coastal management means ways of looking after, ways of protecting the coast. Now the first set are the barriers and here we have a sea wall. It's a big concrete wall. The waves crash into this concrete wall instead of the important rock of the cliff. The advantage is it can also protect against coastal flooding. But the disadvantage is this is the most expensive way of protecting our coastline. Another hard engineering method or barriers is to put groins going down the beach. These are wooden or rock fences and they prevent the sideways movement of material through longshore drift. This keeps sand and pebbles on the beach so the waves crash into the sand and pebbles instead of the important rock of the cliff. Um, one advantage is it looks attractive, um, the sand does, and it keeps the sand on the beaches for the tourists. Um, other people think the fences themselves look unattractive. A third method of hard engineering is rock armour. These are massive boulders that are put at the base of the cliff, so the waves crash into the boulders instead of the important rock of the cliff. They're relatively cheap, uh, but some people think they look unattractive. Now, um, the other method is keeping sand on the beach so that the waves crash into the sand instead of the important rock of the uh, cliff. Um, anything to do with sand is called soft engineering. Now, all beach nourishment is, is keeping sand on those beaches, putting more on, shoving it around, using diggers um, and trucks. 
Um, they can also use a dredger, a large ship in the sea that collects the material and it can actually be blasted back onto the beach. And finally, here's another soft engineering method. A managed retreat is where you just allow erosion to take place because you've realized that the value of buildings isn't worth the money to protect. The advantage is obviously it's very cheap or free. It encourages natural development of the beach or salt marsh. Um, disadvantage is people may lose their buildings or land and may need to be repaid for their losses.